Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back to Mike Makes It. This is another one Mike's made, so um, we'll go a little bit closer up and you can see what it's all about. Okay, here's a tighter shot of what I've made. You may recall from earlier videos, I've got a Land Rover Defender. Now, that's got alloy wheels on it now. It used to have steel wheels, which were fine. Two and a half mil pressed steel, I believe it was. Um, and when you fitted them onto the hubs on the vehicle, when you've took the wheel off, you could easily fit the studs through all five holes and do the nuts up without a problem. But the problem I'm getting now uh, is positioning the new alloys over the studs and being able to get the nuts on because the nuts are sleeved and I've got to get the sleeve through the hole in the alloy wheel um, and tighten it up onto the stud, which is understandable, that's fine. I'm having a job lifting the wheel, positioning the wheel uh, for all five studs to stick through with the equidistance between the studs uh, for the sleeve nuts to fit onto will go out and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so basically what I've done here, I've made a wheel carrier. It's not made to lift the whole vehicle, it's purely made uh, to support the wheel as I take the nuts off after the vehicle's been jacked up. And the idea is you slide this, jack the vehicle up um, have him on stands, jack it up, slide this under where the wheel is and there's an adjustment here which depending on which way you turn it will pull the sides in um, open or close. It's on a, um, a helical thread. Um, it's, it's not moving very quickly, don't have to but you'll snug that into the wheel, whip your five nuts off, um, the wheel will be resting on here you can pull this away it's fully wheeled as you can see the wheel will come away from the hub you do work on the Land Rover or any other vehicle with big wheels um, slide that back in uh, roughly in the position where it needs to be refitted because these are on rollers the wheel will tilt slightly or will rotate 360 degrees if you wish um, but once that's in position you can turn your wheel line up the studs to the holes in the wheels and if you've not altered the height of this by moving the rack in or out uh, it, it's virtually straight on you'll see the demo I'll, we'll, let, we'll go outside in a minute and we'll have a look um, so I don't have to lift the wheel I don't have to turn the wheel and with the third hand I haven't got I don't have to tighten the nuts up onto the studs but we'll take this apart just so you can see a little bit more the ins and outs of it um, and that should be self-explanatory as will the demo so rather than me rambling on for the next 10 minutes let's get this stripped down then we'll go outside okay these two parts are now unscrewed uh, basically you've got a strip of steel down there that have a caster on it either end same thing going on here strip of steel caster either end those strips of steel are simply bolted to cross members through here which uh, are actually two telescopic tubes one will fit inside another basically with a little bit of wiggling and they'll just pull together I'm using one of these in here um, it's from an old workbench but it's got a nice helical screw and uh, a mating nut and they work very well Basically, this nut is inside the tube here, in about that position. In this part, I've done away with the handle because it dragged on the ground. We've got this part in, in here, and simply, as you turn, it'll pull this nut closer and closer, hence the telescopic action. So, uh, yeah, not the best description, but that's how it works. And... Uh, well, it works for me. These are all old scrap parts I've had uh, that I've gathered in the year in the years I've been fiddling with bits in the garage. It's probably cost about a tenner in all. Um, most of it was scrap. I did have to buy a couple of bits of the tubing because I didn't have any telescopic tubing. But uh, apart from that, it's an hour or two's a time, and uh, that's it. It's not meant to support a lot of weight not going to lift your vehicle up it's not meant for that it's purely meant to support the wheel when you're removing it um, 
so yeah let's uh, go outside you can have a look what I'm, all what I'm talking about and I think it'll be a lot clearer when you see what's going on okay that's the style of the nut got a, quite a thick sleeve on there that fits in the recess in the wheel and it's fine it does up very nicely once I get the thread started there we go and that's fine that locks in great but I find I'm struggling with that to get the wheel back on because um, I can't hold the wheel exactly in the right place to have uh, equal distance around the stud uh, to be able to get the nut on through the recess and it'll all lock up nicely hence the reason I've made the jig we're talking about now that you can see down here in a second so we'll uh, zoom out you can look at the jig in place uh, I'll take the wheel off rotate it put it back on and hopefully I'm gonna have very very little trouble with it we'll see here we go well the best way I found before we take all five wheel nuts out is put the jig which you can see I've positioned in the correct place there we'll turn the adjuster to tighten it up on the wheel now I've made this jig so it'll go down to a Fiesta wheel but up to a, a Land Rover and this is an 18 inch tyre on here so it's fairly big so let's just whip those nuts out that's number four five now obviously I've got the Land Rover jacked up and it's nice and safe so I can take the wheel off without dying there we go so we've got the wheel you can revolve it if you need to but I could wheel that away work on the vehicle now you're putting it back it's much the same but now I'm not fighting against the weight of the wheel to lock him in in the studs or have a equal distance around the studs uh, that's bang it's gone straight back on so we can do these back up I'll just put a couple in just to show you that uh, they're going back into the recesses in the alloys and that's what I was faced with I was going to damage the alloys take the tops of my fingers off and be here 20 minutes try to ump a wheel around which I couldn't do on my own very well uh, give me a sulfur hernia but there we're two wheel nuts in obviously the other three will go in just as easily without any fuss or drama so uh, yeah that's what the jigs I made for was that's what the jigs for and it works very well I'm gonna put the other three in we'll zip it back up um, jobs done I can release the little bit of pressure that was on the wheel and away we go the jig will slide out but the jig's only been made to support the wheel it's not a, a, a wheel skate that will lift the whole vehicle it's purely there to take the weight of the wheel uh, when I'm positioning it so bear that in mind if you were going to make one of these it's not up to the task of lifting the whole vehicle up don't want it to that's not what it's built for so I'll stick those five wheels on and I'll get down the shops to buy me tea so I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did give me a thumbs up leave any comments you wish at the end uh, tell me if you think this is useful certainly is for me saved me struggling and uh, ending up in hospital